Hi folks, your OSMVTXReviews.com. With the nascent success of the Google Cardboard, a lot of our readers lately have been asking if there is another solution for their Apple iPod or Apple iPhone devices. And my answer is actually yes. There is one device that was released quite a few years back called the Hasbro My 3D, which is a personal 3D viewer exactly the same in terms of concept to the Google Cardboard that allows a virtual reality experience for you to see your device similar to the upcoming Oculus Rift. Of course, there are a few drawbacks, including the fact that the uh, device only works with some of the older models of Apple iPhones and iPod Touches with a 3.5-inch screen up to the iPhone 4S, but it is compatible all the way back to the first generation model, so it covers a large range of devices. A downside to this particular model, first of all, is that it isn't as high-res as perhaps a HD Oculus Rift that's rumored to be coming out, and that's because the 3.5-inch screen placed in close proximity to your eyes and being magnified is not going to be as crisp in terms of pixel density as as an HD display uh, with a better resolution um, because Apple did not use a HD screen. The device can actually be purchased at a street price of only under $10, which makes it extremely inexpensive and comparable to that of the Google Cardboard. The materials used, have, however, are much more premium than a Google Cardboard made out of a durable plastic material, and the design itself is reminiscent of an older um, 3D slide viewer that you, we get as kids to view back 3D slides um, they can purchase in kids' stores these days. The concept is also exactly the same. You put your phone in here, you snap it shut, and then a tab divider divides up the screen to two different sectors, which after seeing through a lens, you get the 3D effect and also a stereographic effect. The device also utilizes the um, advantage of the iPhone's accelerometer and also Wi-Fi access to view different trailers, movies on the web, also to tilt the device to access different functions for different gameplay modes, um, different applications, and the such. A nice feature about this device is Hasbro has made a lot of these applications for the My 3D Viewer actually free. So um, you can actually get them for free. And that's great because the My 3D is a pretty underrated product. It came out way before the Google Cardboard has essentially the exact same concept but was never really caught on, never really caught on fire and Google again is having a runaway success with the Cardboard in terms of its fan base and um, Nexus 5 users. So again, a pretty exciting product if you do have a, again, Apple device. Taking a closer look at the design, again it has a nice durable plastic build. It comes in colors of black and white. It has a pretty nice soft touch material on the front, which is comfortable to put up to your nose and see into the two lenses, which allows you to magnify the content and to see it uh, in 3D. The actual side where you can actually swap out your different backs for your different um, Apple devices is customizable, and also it comes with a set of um, your different tips inside of the box for free, so you don't have to purchase these separately depending on the type of um, Apple device that you have. Some of these applications will require access to Wi-Fi internet, for example, the My 3D Viewer that you can see here. If we take a look at the demo as it's being loaded, again, it, it's put in place and you see the 3D effect coming into play. Putting the device back into the, into the slot is also quite simple and easy to use. Uh, we put it back in here and then snap it in and it's back in place. Um, one downside of the My 3D Viewer is it does not have access to the volume rockers of your iPhone when you are using it, or at least not very easily. Um, you can still kind of get it in here, but it's a little bit tight. Um, there's also space for you to charge the iPhone as well, so it's a nice uh, thought from the manufacturer. One difference between this and the upcoming um, Google Hardboard is that it doesn't offer access to an M NFC wireless sensor for changing the different screens. Instead, you have to use it manually. There are two slots for your hands after you put it in here um, and look at the display itself, which you can kind of see now my 3D, um, for you to actually change the different functionality. It actually recognizes two double taps on both screens, which you can see as one, to tap OK or back, and the menu navigation is actually pretty easy to do so. You can slide left and right for the different tasks, press uh, both buttons at the same time to actually go back, as you can see there, and um, it's pretty intuitive and easy to use. So again, there are different screens such as movies, um, you can play back different you know, films, there's this Kung Fu Panda a trailer, and it works in 3D, it's pretty easy to use. A downside to this, of course, it's not as fully designed. It's only by Hasbro for their specific applications. They have tried to build a pretty immersive environment from games to movies to images from Transformers that pop out of the screen, kind of like the HTC Evo 3D's effect. But um, it's you know nowhere as complete as the one that Google was able to build because Google owns a lot of services like YouTube. So unfortunately, it doesn't mean that you can watch 3D YouTube videos, for example, on this product. But you can watch some selected trailers that's converted into 3D by Hasbro already. Or if you are tech handy, you can do it yourself just by kind of capturing both screens and then loading up your movie so they come half and half and then put it up to your eye and then you can start watching.
The actual experience of gameplay when you're actually using the product itself is actually pretty decent. The accelerometer is pretty sensitive. Again, it gets a little bit jerky for fast motions depending on what games you play. If we take a quick look at some supported applications, they include some free ones such as Tunnel Pilot, which is a racing game for you to use with the Stereographic 3D. Bubble Bolt, another similar to Monkey Ball, which is um, another 3D rolling game that you use the device to control and tilt um, in 3D, like the Oculus Rift. 3D Sharks, which is uh, pretty easy to show. It's a 3D aquarium which you can use to learn more about sea animals and sea life in general. It's a 3D application, um, such as very similar to Google Cardboard's uh, 3D image gallery, so it's comparable to that. It loads pretty fast. Um, apps are pretty uh, you know, easy to run. You can even use it again on your first generation iPhone as long as you have an update to the latest firmware. So again, if we want to play 360 Sharps, uh, we can just start. And again, now it's in the 3D mode, and we press start at the both, uh, same time for both devices and we press it, and the game itself will actually load, and you can see that the 3D effect can be perceived. Again, resolution isn't the greatest, and I have to say that, like the Google Cardboard, after using the product for a while, you do develop a little bit of a headache, just because it's not as HD of a screen, and things can get a little bit fuzzy and blurred out. Um, so be careful of this if you're planning on watching long movies on the go. Um, again, it's not as good as some virtual movie glasses that we've reviewed in the past, even though you can watch movies in 3D and you can play games in 3D. So again, we are in the view right now. If we wanted to turn off the lamp here, if we can try and focus it. But as you can see here, if I'm trying to focus up the camera, um, I can tilt the display and I'm seeing different things. I can use the accelerometer, therefore, to tilt and find out more options about, you know, what I'm looking at, the fish that I'm looking at. So it's a little bit hard to control here, but um, as you can see, if we take it out, what's happening is that we have two screens, and then we can use it to tilt against round and round, up and down. And if we try and tilt up, we can see different parts of the fish tank. Again, we can, we can tap down. Again, different sharps we can, we can tap on to learn more about. So it's a pretty intuitive, you know, system in terms of navigation. Again, you have more fish. We've changed the setting here to kind of tilt back and forth. Um, it's a pretty immersive experience, definitely, that shows off the 3D effects of the product and also the gameplay abilities um, and the graphics. There's a lot of potential. What's interesting though is that you know this device has been out for quite a while and Hasbro hasn't continuously been releasing a lot of updates so um, there haven't been too many new games that support the product uh, but there are still a few that you can purchase more. Um, they include a dozen or so about 10-15 games that you can download um, and perhaps some more that are released by third-party manufacturers that are supporting the product not by Hasbro officially but um, that's also nice to see. We would have liked to see more support from the community um, to release more games that, by developers but unfortunately that's not there at the moment. So again, it's a pretty interesting concept. You can watch 3D movies, play 3D games, kind of watch, you know, images in a large screen view in a very immersive environment that's very, very akin to the concept of using an accelerometer and a screen close-up to both the Oculus Rift gaming device and to the Google Cardboard. So the answer is yes. If you want a Google Cardboard experience for very cheap, if you want to try out Serographic 3D for under $10, go ahead and check out the Hasbro My3D device with free applications to install in the App Store. Thanks for watching this video review here at OS and Be sure to check out our brother site as well at OS Tech News.